Hi, I'm Rogerio Almeida, Group Vice President for Workday's Global Partner Organization. Now, when it comes to the future of work, our top tier trusted Workday partners are leading the way. And so, I am delighted to be joined here today by Raymond Rovers, Partner of HR Transformation at Deloitte, and Sebastian Schmidt, Director and Sales Lead for EMEA Workday Alliance at PwC, to hear more about their approach to the future of work. Thank you for both joining me here today. Raymond, Sebastian, lovely to see you both. How's it going? It's going fantastic, thank you. And thank you for having us, Rogerio. Oh, it's my pleasure. Always delighted to be at uh, Rising, especially in the beautiful city of Barcelona. And, and I am delighted to be with two of my favorite people here <laughs> today. So thank you so much. Raymond, I introduced yourself a little bit to our colleagues here, but uh, we'd love to hear about you in your own words. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so my name is Raymond Rovers. I'm a partner in our human capital HR transformation practice, as you mentioned, and I'm looking after the workday practice for EMEA uh, within Deloitte. Been within the ecosystem since 2011, so it's been a great journey so far. And you are a mighty great leader there, and thank you so much for all of the many, many years of great collaboration that we've had together, Raymond. It's really great. Yeah. And Sebastian, same question to you. So I introduced you, but I'd love to hear about you in your own words. Thanks, Rogerio. So my name is Sebastian uh, Schmitz. Uh, I'm living close to the Netherlands, so we're neighbors. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I'm leading um, the sales efforts in EMEA for PwC, working with our network companies and doing a similar job than you, right? Because we have these large organizations trusting in us, and they have big pan-European projects, and we need to take care that this is really good stuff, right? And at the end, that they realize the value also from their workday and HR transformation projects. So really doubling down on our agenda, human-led tech-powered. That's amazing, yes? I, and I'm gonna know, every, I'm going to want to ask you everything about that in a second, okay? okay. So Raymond, so um, what rising is this for you? How long have you been in the ecosystem? Yeah, this is my eighth rising in Europe, and I've done a few in the US. You have? Global meetings, but yeah, it's fantastic. That's so, amazing, uh, so you've got more risings in Europe than I have, because I've done six here. I think so, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's amazing, that's yeah. incredible. What about you? Yeah, in Europe I'm counting actually three risings, and I have been recently to the States uh, for rising in San Francisco. So it's four risings, right? Four risings. So I'm going to double count as well, because I'm, I'm a 10 now. Okay. So 10 plus, plus 4, there's 14. 14 against 11. And I guess, Sebastian, you will beat us if we're going to go on early retirement. You can continue to come here. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good that's, thing. That's very true. That's very true. That's very true. Hey, both of you. You're very senior leaders in your respective firms. I mean, incredible um, organizations, you know, a huge prominence in the market. So, um, Raymond, perhaps first question to you. So you see a lot of trends of the future work and yeah. you're speaking to many senior leaders in organizations that are cu current clients and future clients perhaps, right? So what yeah. are you seeing? Well, we see a lot of change happening and transformation, right? And uh, when we talk to our clients in our conversations, we always hear back on a couple of topics. First of all, it's everything that's happening in the world around us at the moment. Eh? There's a lot going on, uh, but also the agenda around sustainability, uh, looking at digitalization, which is an ongoing path. Uh, you know, AI is the new best thing. Yes. So how are they coping with that? How are they applying that? But also the talent shortages that we still see across the world, looking at the demographics. And I think all is impacting the work. Eh? What is the work? Uh, how it's been done? where it's been done, like the workplace, but also the worker. How is it impacting the worker? And uh, what we see and what the key question is that organizations need to ask themselves is, how, is, how are we building the ability to constantly change and adapt to new things and developments? Um, and we touch upon that in our Deloitte Human Capital Trends, and we call that the organizational agility. Uh, and HR plays a really crucial role in that. Uh, for HR, it's really around thinking about the future skills. Where are we now? Where do we need to want? Where do we need to be? What are the gaps? How do we overcome the gaps? But also building that change capability um, and, and creating a culture for change. I think that's super, super relevant. Next to finding the right talent marketplaces across the globe to find the talent for the future. And what I love about Workday is that Workday is providing solutions exactly for that. If you look at Skills Cloud, the talent marketplace, but everything that we heard today around AI is amazing and will create the value that the organizations are looking for. This is, this is such a, a great perspective, Raymond. Thank you so much, and I agree. I think there's like loads of different 
areas and spaces for partners like your good sales and all of our other partners and work they you know included to create spaces to create value for our customers right so i think that's that's phenomenal so you mentioned sustainability earlier on so i'm probably going to go to you now seb and say you know i i want to continue living in a world that's green that's sustainable that's cleaner you know better and leaving behind the world is much better than we found it right so what does that mean to pwc perhaps is the future work in that context? Yeah, first of all, I can echo what, what Raymond said, right? And I, I can see your vision. I have three kids, right? And I yes. want them to grow up as you as you want to as well, right? So at PwC... You want them to grow up as me, like great people, right? right? Is that what you say? <laughs> That's true. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you so much. But, but having, <laughs> a, having a good, sustainable future for them, right? That is where we all need to work on, right? And this is exactly what we see in PwC, right? This environment is rapidly changing, right? And the future is basically already now, right? But let's step back a couple of years, 2015, the United Nations adopted that Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, right? Addressing these 17 big challenges, global ones, right? For climate, education, but also health, right? And Paris Agreement uh, was signed exactly in that year, right? These 196 countries committing legally, really, to, to work on this crucial issue. Mm -hmm. And these uh, frameworks, concepts, and regulations that come with that, right, impact really the market of green jobs, uh, and, uh, and what we see there is, and I can line out two examples, is that uh, these goals like um, this responsible production and consumption um, goal is really driving that businesses really focus on eco-friendly uh, patterns like renewable energy, waste management, and sustainable agriculture. New jobs come up uh, out, of, out of these goals, right? And companies need to be equipped with the right technology, but also with the right processes to attract that talent that is much more purpose-driven than maybe uh, some years back, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, Workday can help, right? And we as, uh, as consultants can equip these companies with the right processes and make them future ready, right? A second example that is quite interesting is also that the government, for example, in France, is now funding initiatives really to upskill people to be technicians for solar projects or wind projects, right? And really take care that that green energy is produced and transmitted to the right, uh, to the right place, right? And what we see in that market, and, and our research, research shows this as well, is that uh, the, the utilities companies really now invest into these platforms mm -hmm. really to, to build this green brand for themselves, right? To, to find the right talent with the right skills in order to tackle these, uh, these challenges in the future, right? And uh, yeah, bottom line, I think aligning these, um, these, these future jobs with sustainable development goals really paves for us the road to, to arrive there, right? Have a sustainable, more prosperous, and yeah, good future for of all of us. Yeah, 100%. I, 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 love, I love the, uh, the vision, I love the direction that both of your firms have in terms of you know, the work of the future, and also clearly the work that we're doing together. So Raymond, thank you so much. Sebastian, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure spending time with you as always. Thank you. And I'd like to say a special thank you to all our Workday Rising sponsors, without whom this event would not be possible. And if you'd like to learn more about AI and its impact on the future of work, head over to the Workday blog on workday.com for the latest insights from thought leaders.